Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Colt News. He's back at it again, but this time at the Franklin County Government Center, where he goes and stages another one of his fake journalistic ambushes. But before we begin today's video, a quick thank you to all of my current channel members and subscribers. Without you guys, I couldn't keep the channel going, and it means a lot to have your support. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. Shipment Center, downtown Columbus, Ohio. And of course, as always, we're here to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. And uh, they say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So let me flatter old Sean Reyes for a second and say, let's get into it. You see, I came down with a searing case of who gives a crap. <laughs> You got your adult probation and parole office here. Yes. This genius of a reporter, and I say with air quotes, decided to go to the adult probation and parole floor. Now, why would he be there unless he was trying to get a rise out of people? He was already on the first floor, which was a lobby, which he could have filmed in. But at this point... He's going to a place where he knows he has no business to, to be there to conduct his First Amendment fraud it. And the lovely, and I say again with air quotes, young lady with the yellow hoodie and the foot brace, that's his partner in crime. His fiance who helps him stage his audits. Some information over there. You have bathrooms here. And we're going to stop the spread of germs. Wash your hands. Look at that. There you go. Wash your hands off with soap and water. Sing happy birthday twice. That'll do it. All right. The elevator back here seems pretty simple. Oh, here we go. If you need some information here, you got all sorts of stuff. Everything from drug counseling. I'm sorry. Can I help you? I, I'm sorry. Uh, and who are you? Who are you? That's why I saw you walk back here. Are you here to see an officer? I am not here to see an officer. Okay, so can I help you then? Uh, again, I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm an officer here. Okay. So can I help can I, you? Can I get your name? I want to know who you are if you're not supposed to be back here. Sir, this is a secure area. Sir, you're a public servant. This is not a secure area. This is a public hallway. So are you... Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans. It's not a public hallway. It's an office hallway. And yes, you are not in a public area at this point. You're in an office area. This is the office for parole and probation. Unless you are on parole or probation or with somebody on parole and probation, you don't need to be there. Refusing to identify to, yourself, sir? But you're going through people's mailboxes. This is a mailbox? Uh, yeah, sorry. you want to re-review what this is, sir? Let me go, let me go get the I'm sorry, what's your, what's your name and badge you number? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Let's address two quick things. One, yes, it's not a mailbox, but that style of box can be can, you, can be used as a mailbox in offices. However, he's not a cop. He does not have a badge number. Not all parole and probation officers 
are cops or sheriff's deputies. So asking for his name and badge number is kind of stupid on your end. You don't want to give your name and badge number? <laughs> Sir, I'm not a public servant. Call the deputies. Call the deputies. There's a man with a camera. Quick, quick. Unbelievable. You refuse to identify yourself, sir. Sir, I'm looking at the public literature and you refuse to identify yourself. I asked you who you were. I asked you who you were, the public servant. I don't work for you, chief. You work for me. Okay. Unbelievable. This guy's entitled. Unbelievable. So, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Oh, blow it out your ass. We've got some literature here for Joe Q Public. Let's see what we got here. Housing homeless assistance. We're missing that. Got some stuff for drug counseling. Child support admin tools. Let's see. Voter info. I'm not sure what's going on. We just heard the shouting in our offices. Gentlemen here? Yes. Hi there. Hi. You're not supposed to be on this floor? I'm not supposed to be on this floor? No. That's what I was just told. Uh, this is... Is this not a public no. building? Okay. Why do they have information for the public here? I asked you your name, sir. No, I asked you what you were doing back here. You wouldn't identify yourself. I don't know Sir, you, you didn't identify yourself. Okay, well, we've already determined that you're not supposed to be on this floor, so I'll yes. show you to the elevator. I have every right to be on this floor and get public literature. Don't tell me I don't have a right to be on this floor. Um, this public wrong. literature, right? You were told yes. by the wrong person the wrong information, ma'am. No. Well, seeing how you're not there to see a probation officer or a parole officer, you have no business being there. But with your actions, you are in violation of disorderly conduct, which states, for the state of Ohio, a person commits the crime of disorderly conduct when they inconvenience, annoy, or alarm others by fighting, threatening others with uh, injury or property damage, or engaging in others with violent behavior, mocking excess noise or saying something that is offensive or abusive mocking or obscene gestures so with you raising your voice screaming like you are you are in violation of disorderly conduct and since you really don't have any business being there they can trespass you from the building and before you all say it yes you can be trespassed from a public building and since he is committing a crime they would be justified to do so even further but you're recording him as an individual he doesn't want to be recorded. he's a public servant there's cameras all over the place you guys are recording me it don't be you still have haven't given your name or why you're sir here. you haven't given me your name and why you're hassling me but i'm supposed to be here i'm supposed to be here getting literature for my friends i'm committing the crime of public photography sir is public photography a crime? I'm taking some pictures and video for a person I'm getting literature for. I have every right to be on this floor getting this. Why you just answer that question when I asked you? Sir, because it's none of your business. Why can't you answer your I'm name? I'm sorry, I work here. I want to know if some sir, strangers walking around I pay here, you your salary. I pay my taxes. What is your name, sir? What is your name? Ma'am, can, can I get your badge number and the name? Um, I have, listen. Ma'am, you just showed up here and told me I can't be yes, here. I asked you for your name and badge number. Is nobody giving names and badge numbers these days? Are you here to report to a probation officer? I'm here to get public literature. This is not for public. This, this isn't for public? No, this is for probationers who have been sentenced by our court. Unless you're on probation or here for common pleas, you can go ahead and leave off the floor because we have people and business to So you're do. saying it is a crime for me to be on this floor? No, it is not a crime for you to be on this floor. However, since you are not there for any business, and that information is for the prolies and the probationees to have to get help that they need, 
You don't need it. It's not for the public. It is for the probation officers and the parole officers to help their clients. You do not belong there. They can have you trespassed for just being here at this point for no business. You're loitering at that point. One, two, three, four. Ma'am, again, you're the one that asked me to leave the floor. Can I have your name and badge number? Okay. I'll be glad to give you that as, as we leave. You're not okay. supposed to be back here. Uh, so. Am I, am I, do I have to leave under, under threat of arrest from this no. floor? No, no, All right, no, then, no. then leave me alone. No, leave me alone. I'm getting literature. Don't okay. put your hands on I'm me, sir. Your, just come this I'm way, getting please. literature my for family. my friend. Yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is Deputy Bellamy, batch uh, 1300. Thank you. We're asking you very is nicely he, to leave. I'm asking you very nicely. Let me get some literature for my friend. Can he grab some literature and then we can go? Absolutely. I can get some literature. Okay. I'm disturbing the floor. How about if I lower my voice and ask you guys to leave me alone? He's an asshole. I'm I'm here to get information. Your people are bothering me. I'm not. You're not on probation. Public program. photography is not a crime. Listen, I get it, but you do need to leave. You're telling me this is not a publicly accessible no, floor not. here. Really? So the public information here is not for the public. That is not for the public to begin with. Okay, interesting. If it was, it'd be out in front where yes, the public is. Yes, and that is all yes. stuff that's so, so, so is this theft if I'm taking things from here, if it's not for the public? Am I stealing from the government? Listen. This is ridiculous. Leave me alone. You, Seriously. You're not supposed to be back here. Oh, can I be out in the front lobby? No, because we have people that are waiting to be seen, and they probably do not want their faces on camera. They're in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Yes, there is no expectation of privacy in public. However, you are on a probation and parole floor. You're in a probation and parole office. You're not on probation or parole. You have been instructed by the management of that floor to leave. You're refusing to leave. You are committing the crime of trespassing at this point. You've already committed disturbing the peace. They have enough to arrest you. But you're pushing your luck. Let's see what happens. This is not public. These are for people who are ordered to be here. This is a public building. I have every right to be here. The sooner you people leave me alone and let me do my job, the sooner I'm out of here. You're not doing your job, which is sustaining and defending my I'm, constitutional I rights. All day if I want. Knock yourself out. I'm just listening. Ma'am, you still want to give your badge number? Ms. Turner? So you finally figured out my name. Yeah, yeah. I haven't figured out your badge number, though. Okay, I'll give it to you as we leave. Ah, oh, got you, got you. Well, you can go ahead and leave. I'm, per I'm perusing the paperwork here first. Go ahead. Unbelievable. You people need to get a life for crying out loud. Getting some information for a friend, I'm hassled. Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans. They have a life. You don't have a life. You're a frauditor going around to a, pro a probation and parole office to get out-of-date literature for a friend that does not exist. You have been asked to leave multiple times. I don't know why these cops are being so patient with you. Me, if I was a cop, and you've already committed the crimes that I have listed, I would have just put you in cuffs and took you down to county. And then maybe you'd have business here on this floor. By the cops, you can't be here. The hell I can't. The public building. You people need to get some priorities straight, man. Prioritize your outrage. Yeah, real funny, isn't it? It's a hoot. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Wow. The camera. There you go. Jeez, unbelievable. Yeah, wow. I agree wholeheartedly. Wow. Jeez. You're out of the homeless assistance things. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe some like a a, a uh, sign to say you know. Not public property, authorized personnel only, something to that effect. That would be terrific. Yeah, your gentleman was harassing me, telling me I had to leave. So, yeah. At the end of the day, we have people back there, and all we can hear is yelling. Oh, okay. Am I yelling? So, all right, all right. Well, you were yelling, and since you're all about having other YouTubers give giving praise, I'm going to give a little shout-out and homage to a content creator I enjoy and respect. Radical. So, for Radical... This is for you. This guy's being an utter dick flute. Am I right? Where's Regica when you need her? All right. Well, maybe if people stop trying to violate my rights, 
I won't have to yell at them. How about that? All right, can you grab what you need so we can get back to business because we do have stuff to do up here. We have people waiting to I'll tell you what, I'll be real quiet right, from no, here on out. No, no. Under here. threat of arrest, do I need to leave? I'm asking, to leave. I'm asking you to leave me alone. I work here. All right. Okay. One second. One second. I'm going to. I'm sorry. What's your name, ma'am? My name's actually Mike Norton with KULT News. You want to tell me why you're trying to violate my rights? Nobody is violating your rights. You are the one disturbing the peace. You're the one yelling and acting a fool. You have no business being there on that floor. You're not to see it. You're not there to see a probation officer and you're not there to see a parole officer. Why are you there? You're there to be a complete pain in the ass and get your little video for YouTube for your fake news network. You want to tell me what under threat of arrest? I did not say anything about that. Then you need to leave me alone. You need to leave me alone. Listen. Why are you trying to violate my rights? I have every right to be in this building on this floor. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. There's no sign this is officer section, though. There's no sign this is officer section, is there? Okay, so I need to. She says I need to be up here. There's another one here. Okay. I need to be up here because that's the officer's section. Got it, got it. Sir, my name's Mike Norton with KULT News. Would you like to tell me why you're violating my rights? Or at least why you tried. You weren't successful. You APMP guys, you really like to control people, don't you? Sucks when you have somebody you can't control, doesn't it? Huh? You don't want to... No, but if you keep up the frauding game, you will eventually be on probation or parole. And... You will have one of them gentlemen or ladies as your probation officer or parole officer. So you would actually have business here. You want to give your badge number there, sir? Yeah. Hilarious. This scumbags. Unbelievable. Go on. I will dismiss you without further argument. Go on. Beat it. Unbelievable. You people are something else. You want to discuss why you're trying to violate my, my civil rights, ma'am? Ms. Turner, you said you, you would, once I came out here, you give me your badge number. What's your badge number? As we're leaving. Oh, okay. Well, stick around then. I'll definitely get that from you. Unbelievable. In fact, you know what? I think I can camp out here for a while. Yeah. Let's just, let's just camp out. Let's see if we can wait longer. Hey, Turner, wait. So you're going to leave without giving me your badge number? Turner, is it against policy for you to... Give me your badge number, ma'am. We'll get on and I'll get it. Go ahead, beat it. I will dismiss you without further argument. You're dismissed. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. You got to give it up to these cops. They know this guy's a damn fool, and he's not worth paying attention to or taking seriously because he's not real news. You call yourself cult news. Come on. I could see that for like a movie channel, but. A, a real news station? Nobody's gonna take you seriously. So yeah, no, thank you. What about clowns? You people are something else. You guys have to deal with this shit once a month? Is it once a month? Unbelievable. These people are on a real power trip, aren't they? Unbelievable. So, you gonna put a sign up here that says this is for officers only, for future reference? You gonna stick a sign there? Officers only? Ma'am, so you don't wanna identify yourself? You're a public servant, right? No? Yeah, that's what I thought. Interesting how when you stick a mic out, all of a sudden they go scurrying like cockroaches. It's not because you're pulling a microphone out. It's the simple fact that they have instructions to deal with people who claim to be media. You're not media. And we're going to end the video here. Him and his accomplice leave the probation office and he does get the officer's badge number. However, he doesn't do anything with it. And well, maybe, just maybe, Colt News can finally become a real journalistic outlet. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. 
If you want to help the channel grow even further, please become a member to the channel and subscribe to the second channel, NCR Movie Network, where we do live streams talking about movies, upcoming movies, and, and other things in the world of entertainment, and we do movie reviews. Be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. A special thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, I couldn't keep the channel going, so thank you.